One of the worst things you could do is mess around and give Baltimore Ravens fans hope when it comes to a premier wide receiver. And I know Odell Beckham Jr., I know he dealt with injuries and whatnot. He dealt with a lot of injuries throughout his career. But to get somebody of that caliber at this point of the season, yeah, he's coming off his second ACL surgery on the same leg too. Um, but still somebody with the potential of an old, not even just potential, because he done tapped his potential. But just thinking about the possibility <laughs> and just thinking about the need <laughs> and just <sighs> anyway, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Graven here with another video. And in this video, if you would have asked me. 30 minutes ago, I would have said it's a wrap. Ain't, ain't no chance. Ain't no Ravens getting no Odell Beckham Jr. And I still, even with the report that just came out, I still think the chances are incredibly slim. Because, think about this. Like, let's just read the report and then we'll break it down. So, straight from Jacina Anderson. Current or order for OBJ's free agent visits. So, these are teams that he has lined up to go and see. Current order for OBJ's free agent visits in early December, Giants, Bills, Cowboys. And Giants getting ready to win by five tonight, by the way. But anyway, Giants, Bills, and Cowboys. So those are the three teams, three teams that have pretty good records right now. We'll see what happens with the Giants and Cowboys game by the end of the night. But those are where OBJ is already scheduled to visit. But it said conversations continue with the Chiefs. And the Ravens as well. So, hey, one thing you know about these Baltimore Ravens, man, especially when it comes to wide receivers, they they going to check in on everybody. They, they will check. I mean, not even just wide receivers, just players, period. They will check in on every single body that's available. They always do their check-ins. Now, how serious these conversations are, no clue. No clue. But it is nice to know that the Ravens are in the conversation. Because these are five teams. These are all five teams with winning records. These are teams that are doing pretty good right now. Bills just came off of a crazy win against the Lions. I was hoping the Lions would win and pull off the upset, but it's okay. It is what it is. Um, and the Giants, the Giants have been overachieving this year. Uh, the Cowboys, they've been, they've been killing it this year too. Uh, the Chiefs, business as usual. I mean, it's what we expect. Uh, and the Baltimore Ravens, they've been doing their thing as well, especially with a healthy team. And Odell Beckham Jr., man, when, when it comes to all of these teams, um, it's like man, that's, that's some good decisions to have to make for one Odell Beckham Jr. Um, now, one thing that's interesting is that it was said that Odell Beckham, it was said I didn't hear from him directly, but it was said that Odell Beckham Jr. prefers warm weather. Giants will be eliminated. Bills will be eliminated. Chiefs will be eliminated. Ravens will be eliminated if that was the case. If that was the case, if it's, if it's about warm weather, then you can say goodbye to those four teams, especially because they each play outside in stadiums, not domes. So we'll see if that is really a, um, a deal breaker. I don't think it will be, especially if money's involved. I don't think it will be a deal breaker. Now, um, the fact that the Ravens are in conversations or have had conversations with Odell Beckham Jr., I like that. I like that because it goes to show that the Ravens are not content or are not set, and they know that they can be better, and they know that they should be better at the wide receiver position. Ravens, like, throughout this entire year, they do it all the time, really, but th we'll, we'll just talk about 2022. Ravens have continued to admit at wide receiver, like, man, we messed up. We messed up. We should have done a lot better. They continue to admit it, whether fans want to whether want to like it or not. And this is not me. This is not my my wide receiver thing. Cause y'all know y'all know I love to talk about some wide receiver. But this is not even me going on it. This is what the Ravens showed you, not me. This is what they showed you. If they went into this season and they felt like, all right, hey, we good at wide receiver. We straight. We ain't gonna worry about that. Why would they sign Demarcus Robinson for what? What be the point? 
If the Ravens felt that they were straight at wide receiver, why would they sign Deshaun Jackson? For what? What would be the point? If the Ravens felt like they were straight at wide receiver, why would they sign Andy Isabella? What would be the point? If the Ravens felt like they were straight at wide receiver, why would they even be talking to Odell Beckham Jr.? For what? Especially, this ain't no practice squad wide receiver. No. This is not just your average, average wide receiver. No. This is Odell Beckham Jr. Why would you even be in conversation with somebody of that caliber if you felt like you were good at the wide receiver position? What would be the point? What would be the point? So regardless of what any fan says, whichever side of the argument they're on, if the Ravens felt like they were good at wide receiver, this wouldn't even be a conversation. This wouldn't even be a conversation. But they know... They know, and they're showing you that they know. They have shown you that they know, that, that they knew. I, I just said that they know. That's so embarrassing. Anyway, um, bottom line, do I think anything will come to fruition from this? No. Do I think the Ravens will win in this whole OBJ sweepstakes? No. Um, now, the only way that I see things changing, the only way that I see the Ravens possibly being serious Contender, so to speak, for the services of one Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, would be if they actually got to line up a visit with him. Because that's where things start. Things start with a visit. And right now, it's looking like the Chiefs and the Ravens are on the outside looking in. Uh, because, again, the visits he got scheduled, Giants, Bills, Cowboys. So that means he's going to physically go to those places and they have the leg up on everybody else. And since she said that's the order, the order is Giants first, then Bills, then Cowboys. Giants, they got an, a big advantage. G we've, we've seen it so many times where a player will have this visit scheduled, this visit scheduled, that visit scheduled, that visit scheduled, and so on and so forth. But the first team that gives that player a significant offer, an offer that that player just can't refuse, those will be the teams that end up winning them over. Because money talks. Money talks. You can go there. You can be all buddy-buddy with everybody. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, man. <laughs> wow, this, this facility looks great. It looks amazing, man. Wow, you guys got a great medical staff here. Wow, how's your offensive scheme going? Oh, what do you guys do with your wide receiver? You can do all the talking in the world, man. But money will do that. Money will have the biggest conversation. You can do all the talking in the world in the NFL, but money will be the one that has the biggest conversation and the conversation that matters the most. So if the Giants handle this right, after they beat the Cowboys tonight by five at least, but by five, after they beat the Cowboys tonight, if the Giants handle this correctly, then Odell Beckham Jr. won't have any more visits. But one thing that Odell Beckham Jr. has in his, um, that goes in his favor, just his name alone. His name alone. Um, because... If he visits the Giants they, and they offer him a deal or whatnot, he can go take that deal to the Bills and say, hey, look, this is what the Giants offered. What's up? And then the Bills could be like, oh, well, we'll counter that. Or they could give him, give him a different offer that may not match up to what the Giants offered. But they can, they can be like, look, we know we're a much better team than the New York Giants. And they can try to sell him on just potential of the team itself, not just money. So then Odell Beckham Jr. could take both of those deals and then take them to the Cowboys and be like, hey, you want me to wear that star on my helmet? Well, look at what, look at what they offer me. Look. So then he could have three potential deals and then still be on the phone with the Chiefs and the Ravens like, hey, let me know if y'all are serious. Show me the money before I even come to visit. So Odell Beckham Jr., he, he could play this thing the right way and he, he could come off Nice, real nice. Obviously, he got plenty of money already. Um, but Odell Beckham Jr. right now at this point in his career, is he, would he need to be somebody's number one wide receiver? Um, I think when you look at the Giants, for the Giants, he would be relied upon heavily there, in my opinion. Uh, for the Bills, he wouldn't have to be relied upon not nearly as much as he would be if he would have went back to the Giants. If he goes to the Giants, I think the expectations will be through the roof for Odell Beckham Jr. 
despite the injury history, despite him just coming in in December, I think the expectations will be through the roof because of their wide receiver situation. For the Bills, no. No, he could come in and be an additional piece. For the Cowboys, no. He could come in and be an additional piece. For the Chiefs, uh, they got like a lot of additional pieces already, but he will come in and be another additional pieces, another additional piece. So I don't think the expectations will be through the roof. For the Ravens, expectations will blow through the roof because of their receiver situation. So with the Giants and with the Ravens, there would be a lot of pressure on Odell Beckham Jr. to be that guy. Even though it would be an unfair expectation, even though it shouldn't be the expectation, given his injury history, given the situation, given the timing of everything, but with the Giants and the Ravens, Odell Beckham Jr. would be relied upon a lot. So I, I just think that that would factor into his decision on how he feels about his body, how he feels about the response to the surgery that he had, how he, how he feels at this point in his career. So it, it would just, I think it would be asking a lot. And we know as far as the Ravens with their scheme and with their philosophy and whatnot, we know the receivers, they are not the guys on the team. Obviously, that thing starts with the run game and whatnot. Then it goes to the tight ends. And then the receivers, they like an afterthought. But if maybe, maybe that could be enticing to Odell Beckham Jr. at this point. Maybe he could be like, man, these guys, like they... They like a they like, like a couple pieces away. Would El, would Odell Beckham Jr. push the Ravens to the top? Would he push the envelope? Ah, honestly, I I don't think so. It would be nice, but I don't think like Odell Beckham Jr. will push the Ravens over the top. He will be nice to get, and he could certainly help. But I just feel like with the injury history, because again, he has been hurt a lot. Well, the Bengals have been hurt a lot, a whole lot. He's beast of a receiver, beast of a receiver when he's healthy. But that'd be the thing. But then at the same time, since Ravens don't use receivers like that, it ain't like he will be having to be catching like 10, 12 uh, balls a, a game. He wouldn't even have that much targets. Odell Beckham Jr., like with how Deshaun Jackson was in that uh, Saints game, that would be Odell Beckham Jr. probably like a little bit more. So Ravens, like, they, they could use my plan that I had earlier. I had a plan earlier um, with, with Will Fuller, with Odell Beckham Jr., and I think somebody mentioned T.Y. But somebody mentioned T.Y. Hilton earlier. And I was like, all right. They, they were like, which one of these receivers should the Ravens sign? This was a while back. Will Fuller, Odell Beckham Jr., or T.Y. Hilton. I was like, look, all three of them be hurt a lot. All three of them. So you sign all three, and then – so. You can be ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. If Odell Beckham Jr. is out, you still got Will Fuller and Deshaun Jackson. If Deshaun Jackson's out, you still got Will Fuller and Odell Beckham Jr. If Will Fuller's out, you still got Deshaun Jackson and Odell Beckham Jr. If uh, Deshaun Jackson's out, you get what I mean. If one is out, you still got the other two. If two are out, you still got the other one. Now, you would hope that all three don't go out. That'd be kind of scary. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. So, we'll see. I don't think it's going to happen. My hopes are not up for the Ravens signing Odell Beckham Jr. I would like if they did, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he's going to want to go to the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, just based off of the scheme alone, just based off of the timing of everything, based off of the money, based off of just their offense, just no. I don't think he's going to want to go there. But, hey, it ain't over till it's over. And if they're in conversations with him, then that means they have just a little chance to make something happen. So team, keep it clean, just like the Ravens are not. When it comes to being a conversation about Odell Beckham Jr., I'm out.